18-year-old Dane Spurl was taken into custody as he walked home from a video store. Police accused him of public intoxication because of the way he was walking. His mother says police didn't give her son a breathalyzer test or the chance to explain his condition, and she's now filed a complaint against the Royal Newfoundland Constabulary. Diane Spurl joins us this morning from St. John's along with her son, Dane. Good morning. Good morning. Diane, and I know Dane doesn't want, to, um, doesn't want to speak necessarily, but we're happy he's there, and if he does choose to, he's welcome to at any time. Tell me, uh, first of all, you know, what, what happened here? The, the, pl the police arrested him or, or brought him into custody, but they didn't allow him to make a phone call? No, they didn't allow him to make a phone call. And uh, he wasn't allowed to make a phone call after he got at the lockup either. So, so he there were two groups of individuals at fault here. And it wasn't just a matter of not reminding him that he could make a phone call or that he had the right to make a phone call, but the fact they, they just denied him the right. They said, no, you can't make a phone call. They actively denied him. He was asking from the time that he was in the police cruiser throughout the night at the lockup, and they just kept saying that uh, he only had the right to phone a lawyer. Or uh, the other answer was that he should have called me sooner. So when he, he left, he, he spoke to you at 12.05, said he was coming home from the video store. One thirty, you, you were worried. You tried calling him, but they had turned his cell phone off. Yes. How does this make you feel? I mean, all the time that he spent in jail and all the, you know, that long night, were you worried? I was scared to death. I didn't know where he was. He's a very reliable person, you know. Um, as that phone call indicates, he, he contacted me to let me know that he was on his way home. Um, I gave him the phone as a measure of protection because he likes to do his own thing. He's, he's got a fairly normal life, mm -hmm. and um, of all the hundreds of times that he's walked home alone, there has never been an incident. The police are expected to apologize to you and Dane today. I guess the question for you, is that enough? What are you looking for here? No, it's not enough. It's, um, it's a gesture of goodwill, I think, and um, I know that they are doing two investigations. And um, I do trust that they will do the right thing by Dane. But this apology today, um, I, I don't want to say that it's coming from the wrong place, but the real apology that we need to hear uh, is from the officers who hurt my son. Uh, Diane, we are going to continue to follow this story. Keep in touch with us, will you? Yes, I will.